Hello everyone and welcome to this video. In this video I am going to be testing out the screen reader JAWS on the internet and if you just I'll just load up the BBC News site here. Now I'm using the same site with JAWS as I am as, as I was with my video about window eyes the screen reader I also used the BBC website for that the difference is with JAWS I'm using Google Chrome whereas for window eyes I could only use Internet Explorer but anyway if you're interested in the, win the window eyes test on the internet then um, have a look for that video I'm sure you'll find it very easily also I, I created a video where I listed lots of keyboard shortcuts that you use with JAWS on the internet so this video we're going to be testing a few of them out it's going to be a little bit tricky with this video because obviously I'm talking and doing some narration but also I want you to be able to listen to JAWS so as I load this JAWS is going to start you can see down at the bottom that it's already going and as the page loads JAWS will give us a summary of the information which is going to be really important. Okay. So as it was loading it told us that it thought the page had three regions and it had headings and it had some links as well. So let's um, press the H key. The H key will give us the headings and let's see if they work. Okay, let's move it up see if we can see where it's where the head headings are okay I'm just trying to find out whereabouts on the page maybe these Okay, so it's over this side of the page and it's actually doing these it almost seems to be doing reading the descriptions of the photographs as headings. Let's see if we can do some links. Okay, so I'm pressing L here for the links. The other thing with um, in, the other thing with JAWS, of course, is that we can get a whole. Um, let me see if I can do this. We can get a, a list of all the links on the page. So let's see if here we go. So I've done that by. I've done that by pressing um, insert and F7 and then I'm moving through these by using my down arrow okay so let's get rid of those then if we do insert and F6 it, it flashes up it displays a whole list of all the headings on the web page as well. Okay, so 
And so there we go. Um, the BBC website is a very, very complicated website. It's one of the reasons for doing it because it contains lots of text, lots of links, lots of headings. It contains videos and also quite a few graphics and photographs as well. But this demonstration has showed that JAWS was using those shortcut keys which I spoke about in a previous video to help you to navigate through it. So try it yourselves. Watch the video that I created about how to download the demo of JAWS and then try it out on the internet. Thanks for watching.